Today, we will be going through the procedure for how to change the rotation direction of a motor shaft. If you have questions about this procedure or are uncertain about any detail, seek clarification and do not proceed. For written information, reference the Motors AC Induction, Single, and Polyphase Maintenance Manual available online at Nord.com. For this procedure, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a metric wrench set. Per IEC standards, motor shaft rotation can be controlled by the way the incoming line power is connected. If your motor is rotating in a counterclockwise direction and you need clockwise rotation, you will need to adjust the wiring. Before beginning, confirm that no power is applied to the motor. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the terminal box cover. If not already done, begin by mounting the grounding wire to the grounding saddle using a Phillips screwdriver. Tug the wire to ensure it is secure. Using a wrench, remove the three bolts from terminals T1, T2, and T3. Connecting the incoming line power in phase order will result in clockwise rotation of the rotor shaft when viewed at the motor shaft end. Connect line 1 to T1, connect line 2 to T2, Connect line 3 to T3. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remount the terminal box cover. It is now safe to apply power. In this example, our motor is being run with a Nordic Pro SK500E in order to control the speed for better visual of the motor shaft rotation direction. If we needed to change this motor's rotation to counterclockwise, we need to adjust the wiring by swapping any two of the incoming power lines. Before beginning, confirm that no power is being applied to the motor. For this example, we will switch line 1 and line 2 to change the motor shaft rotation to counterclockwise when viewed from the motor shaft end. Using a wrench, remove the bolts from terminal 1 and terminal 2, swap the phases so that line 2 is connected to T1, and line 1 is connected to T2. Tug the wire to ensure it is secure. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remount the terminal box cover. The motor now rotates in the counterclockwise direction. 